On the Pearl River with John Gilliatt. John, I'm, I'm excited about this morning. You know, the last time I went out with you, we really smoked them. I don't see how we could top that trip, but you know what? With, with the work that you put into this, finding these sakale, I can just see the passion in you, and, and you're just constantly thriving to, to, to find them and, and figure them out. I'm excited about what I'm seeing today. Talk a little bit about our conditions out here on the Pearl and uh, what we're gonna be doing today as far as targeting these sakale. Well, being up on the West Pearl, uh, it gets a little bit too much pressure. So I try to get off of it and stay in these middle pearls. And the fish migrate up into these middle pearls this time of year. It's, it's, it's a little early to call it a pre-spawn. Right. Because just we're hot. The water's hot, everything's hot. So we're kind of get, getting into a little bit more of a cover area where they will pre-spawn, pre-stage. Water's deeper up here. Uh, they need a little bit of water depth. Uh, per, uh, crappies like a speckled trout, where they have to kind of, especially females, have to acclimate to water mm -hmm. temperature so they'll stratify, hard to catch. Well, up here, you know, you have cover, which kind of offsets them having to be 20 feet deep to be comfortable. And they get thick. You get black crappie, they're heavy fish, fish with 12 pound tests, big hooks, and it's a fight. You know, I mean, it's just a freaking fight. You're pulling them out of this heavy cover. So it, it's going to be a good day today. We, we've got a little bit of overcast, might slow us down a little bit to start this morning, but we're going to smoke them. All right, I'm excited. Talk about a little bit with, with what do you watch for with this Pearl River Delta as far as the rains and what we've seen. Because we've seen some abnormal rains. We've seen some training effects that typically, that typically does not happen around this time. Uh, talk a little bit about what you don't want to see and what you want to see about fishing this time with this, these pop-up showers. Well, in the Delta, in this Pearl River Delta, they, they don't like lightning. They don't like thunder. They'll go down and they'll stay down. So what we want to do is catch it, you know, these training rains keep putting thunderstorms through, 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 and spooking all the fish. Well, normally, we just have the heat up, a pop up, a little thunderstorm may make up and drop rain, the energy's gone, doesn't rain the rest of the day on that spot. Well, the rest of the delta's not disturbed. Yeah. But these training storms coming in off of the Gulf is keeping the fish spooked. Now there's a plus to it, catching bigger fish. I mean, much bigger fish okay. than we historically do. Okay. But you really, you really want to be an hour before the top of the tide, or an hour before the bottom of the tide. Because when the water's running, the crappie don't feed much. They're not very aggressive. They're trying to find an eddy. They're trying to find some place to get out of the flow. Mm -hmm. They don't like flow. So. We're at the bottom, we're an hour before the bottom of the tide. As you can see around here, the water's not moving at all. Crappie are very aggressive, and you got to get it well out. Fry yeah. it while well, the pan's hot, you know. Well, let's stop talking, let's get out there. All right, boys. Let's go. Let's kill them. <laughs> well, the stalk's on now. We're going to ease back here and uh, kind of slip up on a little deeper water. This in here, you see, it's eight, nine feet. We, we get back here, it'll be 12, 15 feet of water. And that, that, those holes are where you're gonna find the fish. You know, they, 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 they're they moving through this water and we can pick through here and pick up a fish here, pick up a fish there. But we wanna try to find, stack the deck in our favor, you know. We gotta be quiet, ease along. Now I'll shut the motor off way before we get back there. But we don't want to blow up any of this on the way out in case we want to drop a bait in front of First one this morning. First one this morning. Yeah. 
That little hole, huh? Yep. Right in there. Go back in there and get another one. You heard that, huh? Got him? <laughs> what you got? <laughs> <laughs> Comes with the territory. Comes with the territory. That's why you gotta use them short rods. You know? All right, we're back. We're still in the West Pearl, and basically we're moving back down river. The crappie haven't quite migrated up. You know, they they move in in the fall. The water temperature is still pretty warm, 79, almost 80 degrees. It's been running, you know, 83, 84 degrees, and the bait's not up here. Um, there's very little bait. Where we're going, you'll see clouds and clouds of bait, and the crappie follow the bait. So we're moving now. We're going around uh, to the middle, middle, to a spot where it's it's kind of uh, up the steamboat, where it kind of backs up a little bit, and then we're gonna come out of there, and we'll be back with you on the East Pearl. <laughs> there we go. All right, sun breaking out. No, you like that sun. Oh, you Man. see how he wrapped. Yeah, they'll wrap up. Yep. You just kind of got to give him a little slack. He's a little small. I don't want to. You don't have to call me an epithet. <laughs> you don't have to pick on me. I put you on the fish. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look now. My rod, oh yeah. We took a little drive up from the Highway 90 launch up to the Stennis launch, Napoleon. And we're easing up. You know, they made everybody move out of here uh, for the test site. They even moved the grades. But we're easing up. They knocked all, dynamited all the bridges and the old, old structures and stuff and sank them. And we're fixing to ease up so you can see uh, some of this underwater structure that we're gonna come back and crop eight clouds that we have uh, I'm fixed to come over you can see the structure coming up there uh, It's pretty cool You can see some more bait hanging on the sides, but look I don't know if this is a bridge or an old barge It's one of the two now. This was a huge logging area. They logged all this for Cypress a hundred years ago and look here at all the bait and stuff that's hanging off the back side of it. Nice fish. Nice. So off the stump here. Yep, well there's a tree here. And that's the big thing. What have you got, Keith? Oh. Uh, ugly catfish. Boy, is that ugly, huh? Flathead? Yep, look at that. Flathead cat, huh? I ain't seen one of them caught in years. Like I told you, I've been catching gas bagoo, catfish. Hey, he, that sucker got some spots on it. Paper mountain. Well, yeah. Get him up. Try to get him up. That's a little bit better fish. Go, oh, Keithy. There we I go. I told you. Well, who's your daddy? Right there where I go. told you. Right, right where hole, I huh? told you. Right in the hole. So specific. Look at that. You so dropped specific. it in his mouth, didn't you? Yeah. There you go. Get him. Yeah, there might be another one in there. What a catch. Look at him. Got him. Look at him. I'll take that one. Yeah. Uh, sink me. All right, there you go. Drop it in there again. Oh, right. There we go. Drop it. it stretches out right here. Mm -hmm. right when we dump, dip it down there right there. That's oh, that one's fine. Look at that. 
Uh, you know, river good, fish. Good lunch. That's right. There, Keith. Oh my goodness. What you got, Keith? Got a little fish here. What you got, Look Keith? That. Right there. Just right there. Man. Down, Man. We just 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 money shot, Bob. All solid fish. Look at here. Look at here. Who caught that? Ready to wrap up you the caught, day. You caught the bottom and I caught the yeah. fish. Yeah. Gee. I was on the wrong end of that exchange. Yeah. It was the other way around last time. <laughs> All right, finishing up the day. John Gillia, the great white sockele hunter, I call you. It's 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 for a reason, John. This is it's what, all. A, what an incredible day. And you know, we had to we had to hunt and peck our day, find our day because of the pop up sh showers. But uh, today looks look like you know we we got spared. It's dry, um, water's clear over here. Um, I, I had a blast. Can you you want to want to? Hey, I mean, you, the East Pearl provides. There's nothing about it. The East Pearl. You can get out here and crappie fish. This whole delta has got plenty of fish. Got to have a little patience to locate them. You know, we're going to be putting on a clinic over at Fat Jack's That's October right. 6th, right. and I'm going to teach y'all how to go locate the fish. Now we're not going to hold your hand and put the bait in the fish's mouth and hand you the pole, but I'm going to show you how to find them, how to get out here and locate fish. There's plenty of fish to be had. And no one ever gets a chance to fish these on the spawn. This is all flooded, so our, our spawning fish gets to lay in peace and just raises more sockle than a human can catch. <laughs> Boy, and you said it. We, I mean, we had to pick a time to stop catching them yeah. to, to close out the video. But uh, like you said, you touched on numerous things while I was fishing with you that I'd, I'd really like to hear more about, and I think you'll have the time to to uh, tell us, you know, at the seminar. So, Absolutely. so I can't wait, you know, October 6th, uh, Fat Jack's Bar and Grill, mm -hmm. Highway 11 in Slidell. Mm -hmm. I'll be there, you'll be there. Oh and, yeah, and, and, I mean, it, it's a very methodical clinic. Now, you, we're gonna go step by step. We got time to talk in between slides. It's gonna be on a PowerPoint presentation. So we can go over, we can answer questions. You got questions to ask, but the big thing is, it's a beautiful place to practice right here in St. Mm -hmm. Tammany Parish in, in this East Pearl River. Well, if we were practicing today, I can't, I can't wait to, <laughs> to it really count. <laughs> so yeah. get on out here and I'll see you, me and John will see you at the clinic. I hope you enjoyed the video.